why do we rebuild a supercharger? Like, what are we doing with it? Um, once they exceed 200 hours, and these friction washers is what you're more so worried about because they will break and then it sends all the metal material through the oil pumps and all the 40 needle bearings inside here that aren't caged will break apart and go through the engine. Go right through the engine. Yeah, through the oil pump. What's the point of having a clutch on here? Because it runs right off of a ring gear in, this, in the engine bay, it needs something to slip when the RPM variances changes drastically. You don't want it to change in RPM from 8,000 RPM or whatever you're revving at to, you know, 1,000 instantly. It needs to slip to prevent the supercharger from blowing apart. So these little discs in here, that's what wears out and that's what those we're changing. Are, those are friction, yeah, the fit friction washers, but uh, that's what you're worried about is those friction washers cracking or breaking or overheating. At 100 hours, you're supposed to slip test them on these older ones. Yep. And then at 200, they recommend rebuilding. One of the most critical things you can do on a supercharged sea dew Yes. You won't be jumping your boat, so the clutch system won't wear, wear as fast. So especially on a, on a personal watercraft. If you're hard on your watercraft and, and jumping it, then you definitely need to maintain your supercharger.